Alex and I'm reporting for Callington Community College. Today we are going to cover a report on the impact of British Science Week on college students. Now, while we will pass over to Jenna, who will be explaining more about Science Week, over to you Jenna. Thanks Alex. Hello, my name is Jenna and I'm here to talk about what is Science Week and why it is important. British Science Week is a 10 day celebration of science, technology, engineering and maths featuring fascinating, entertaining and engaging events and activities across the UK for people of all ages. This is important because they experience new sciences and it's an opportunity to get involved and have fun. It's a great thing to do. Now over to Simon and science technician Miss Davis Butler. Hello, I'm Simon and this is Mrs. Davis Butler and today I'm going to be interviewing her about uh, British Science Week. So here are some questions I might like to ask you. My first one is, do you think British Science Week is a good idea for schools? Yes I do because um, we, you come into science and if you enjoy science that's great but if you don't you think oh I'm coming into science but during science week we do lots of different things that we don't normally do yeah. and I'm sure you're, you're going to talk about the things that we've already done but it's out of the national curriculum that we do stuff and so I think it's more exciting and students can get to see how exciting science can be as well. Mm, that's quite good. Um, so my second one is would you want to recommend getting more kids who are not so confident with science more involved? Yeah, because um, sadly when some students come up from primary school because science isn't, you don't do as much practical work in yeah. primary schools, people are really scared when they come, the Bunsen burner and chemicals, people are really scared. Um, and we want you to be confident because it's a fantastic career to go into in science. And if we can do anything to help that, to make you feel more confident, we do lots of practicals. We do hear that some schools don't do many practicals, but I can tell you as a technician, I'm busy all the time because we do practicals all the time and sometimes we can prepare 30 practicals in a day. So this school is very much into practical work and I think students need to really enjoy doing practicals. Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, my third one is, do you think British Science Week is important and do you think there's any benefits for Science Week? Uh, yes, I think it's really important because when you look on the news, there's always uh, news items on science. Um, and school students don't sometimes watch the news and they don't link it. Yeah. Whereas if we say, right, this week we're going to do science, we've all dressed up like loonies this week and we've done exciting things and we talk about different things that are going on, then I think we hope to encourage students like you to get more interested into science and not just in school that you need to be listening to the news and all the new things that are going on. Yeah. And um, one of my last questions is, do you like being a technician? And do you like being like a female a technician and stuff like that? Um, yes, I really enjoy it. Um, I've been a technician for over 25 years and before that I worked at London Zoo as a technician. So my whole career has been into science and I think women are coming more into science now, whereas before it was always men that were doing it. But I think we need to encourage more girls to do physics because they think that's really boring because it's to do with math. They like the biology, they like the chemistry, but actually there's lots of careers that are linked to physics, like being a radiographer um, and medicine and things like that. So I think it's, as a woman, I've had no problem. I love my job. Ah, well, thank you so much. These are all the questions so far. And thank you very much. Hi, my name is Lily. I'm going to talk to you about what we have been doing here at Callington Community College. We have been doing a wide range of activities during lunch breaks. On Monday, we had a crazy chemistry explosion with Dr. Maunder. The photos and videos will be on our page. They can be seen on the school website. On Tuesday, we had a tower building challenge with Mr. Trice and Mr. Lew Mrs. Lewis. You had to build a tower out of seven pieces of paper. On Wednesday, we had two different activities going on. They both went on at the same time, so you couldn't attend both. Girls in Science had a competition for the longest marble run with Mrs. Frost. The winners were Lilibet from Year 8 and Haley from Year 7. They won a big bar of chocolate. There was also an owl pellet investigation with Mr. Petherick. 
They took part in taking pictures of the owl pellets, seeing different types of preserved bones. Some of the students said, nice and interesting thing to do. You can work out what the owl, owl had recently digested by what's in its pellets. It was intriguing to watch and see what was inside the pellets. Today there was an eye dissection with Mrs Hills. Here are some quotes from some of the children. Really good. 10 out of 10 will do again. Smells very fragrant. Quite an experience. We have also been having a treasure hunt all week. You had to search for the elements of the periodic table, then write down their number and what the name of the element is, plus where the location of it is. Thank you. Thank you. Today I'm here with Ellie, a Year 7 student here at Callington. So Ellie, have you enjoyed Science Week so far and why? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. There's a lot of workshops to go to. Which Science, Science Week lunchtime workshops have you attended? I attended the Girls in Science and they did a marble run and I did a science workshop as well. What do you like about this particular workshop? I like it because it's a lot of stuff to do and it gives you more confidence when you're in the classroom. Do you think Science Week will help encourage girls to get into science? I think it will because science is not the most popular subject now but I think the more you do it the more fun it is. Why do you think girls have less confidence in science than boys? I think that girls have less confidence because in the classroom boys would probably take over on the practicals and girls would have more to challenge them. What would you like to see in future Science Week events? I think that we could learn about animals and wildlife so that we can learn about science. Thank you. It's not just here at Cowington Community College that we are celebrating Science Week but it's a worldwide event with thousands of schools taking part. Most schools have held workshops, special assemblies and competitions for students. Some, is, some schools have, have even had fun trips and special science fairs. We also had assemblies from people outside the college. The Year 7s had marine biology specialists come in and the Year 8s had space people come in from the SEA organisation. Well, the Year 9 students had an had a assembly about liquid nitrogen. The students found the assemblies informing, interesting and incredible. Some teachers got involved by hosting activities and dressing up. This is Science Week at our school. Hope that you enjoyed yours. I will now leave you with some pictures of what we at Callington Community College think of British Science Week. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holmium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury, molybdenum and magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and lead, praseodymium and platinum and plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium and tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium.